THC and CBD. So THC binds really well to the C CB1 and the CB2 receptors. The CB1 receptors are primarily where? In the brain, other areas. We have our CB2 receptors, which are where? Immune system, mast cells, okay, and throughout the body. And so the THC also binds to the GRPV55s and the TRPV1. So it binds really well to all those things. Now, CBD binds, but not so well. And this is what's really cool. What does CBD do? CBD enhances the release of your own cannabinoids. It also prevents the resorption of your cannabinoid in the presynaptic membrane so it, before it gets metabolized. And when it gets resorbed, it's metabolized by fatty acid amide hydrolase, it stops that. That's pretty cool. So CBD improves your own cannabinoids. So this is why CBD might not work on some people. If you have cannabinoid deficiency, you can't enhance it. You can't make chicken salad from chicken shit. <laughs> That's why you might need to add THC. So if people, this is good for you to know. If you have friends that said, oh, I tried CBD, it doesn't work. Now you have an answer for why it doesn't work. You probably have an endocannabinoid deficiency and you need to add THC because THC will then bind better to the receptor. 